Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Linderman, a Senior Simulation Specialist for Go Engineer, and welcome. Today we'll take an in-depth look at new enhancements in SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2026. Each year the development team adds new features to make the software faster, easier to use, and more reliable. This year is no exception. We'll cover five main areas of improvement. Improvements to the fill, pack, cool analysis solvers, a new unfilled volume result plot, enhanced venting analysis, thermal set material updates, and the continued expansion of the material database. I will use this control housing model to show the enhancements. Let's begin with solver performance. When time is critical in plastic part design, faster results matter. In Plastics 2026, fill simulations run up to 15% faster. Pack simulations run up to 30% faster. And cool simulations up to 25% faster. These improvements shorten your analysis cycle and help you make confident design decisions more quickly. Now let's talk about the new unfilled volume plot. As we can see in this fill time result, a short shot has occurred. If I switch to the unfilled volume plot, it shows exactly how much of the part remains unfilled. Small percentages might only require changes to gate size or fill settings, while larger percentages may indicate a design issue. This plot makes it easier to decide on the right next steps. In this case, I was able to change the wall thickness slightly to improve the flow into the mounting bosses. The fill results now show a complete fill. Now onto the venting analysis. In SOLIDWORKS Plastics Professional, a venting analysis can be run to predict the effect of the air being displaced from the mold on the plastic filling. We use the air vent boundary condition to specify venting location. Until now, air vents could only be applied to vertices. With Plastics 2026, we can now define vent boundary conditions directly on edges. This more closely reflects real-world venting behavior and can be applied to both cavity and runner systems, giving more accurate pressure results. Next, let's look at the thermoset material updates. The grips on the handle of our controller housing are made of a silicone rubber thermoset material. For thermoset materials, the solver and user interface have both been enhanced. The software now better accounts for fiber-filled thermosets, improving accuracy in fill, pack, and warp simulations. The ejection criteria have also been expanded. You can now define curing base condition timed base condition, or use the new target curing level and volume percentage parameters. This gives you more flexibility and removes the guesswork in setting curing times. Along with this, new thermoset result plots provide deeper insight into curing behavior, including time to reach the curing level, curing at the end of fill, and curing at ejection. These results allow you to optimize curing and avoid wasted cycle time. Finally, we will look at the material database updates. In this release, 85 new material grades were added, 12 existing materials updated, and 50 obsolete ones removed. This ensures you're always working with the latest material properties from manufacturers. To conclude, SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2026 delivers faster simulations, smarter analysis results, and an expanded material database. These updates give you the confidence to validate manufacturer ability, improve part quality, and bring products to market faster. Thank you for joining me for this overview of what's new in SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2026.